Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This time I'm going to share big O notation. First is we have constant time or big O of 1. The constant notation describes an algorithm that's always ex executed in the same execution time regardless of the size of the data set. While here we have linear time or big O of n, the linear algorithm is used when the execution time of an algorithm grows in direct proportion to the size of the data set that is being executed, where n here denotes the size of our input element or input. Okay. Now let's first create a program that demonstrates constant time. Okay. Or big O, big O of one. Now let's create a prototype. Okay. The program here prints. Sorry. Void prints the first element of the array. Okay. And then we'll be passing here a parameter that is our array. So this is our prototype. Now in our main program here, what we're going to do is before we write our actual code or actual function, we're going to create a function or a, a array. Let's give it a name A. And let's assign a value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Then after that, let's call the function print first element. And then we're going to pass here our array, which is A. Okay. And that's it. Now let's copy this line and then create our function. Okay. Let's remove this. Okay. Now, what we're going to do in our function is to call out the first element, first element of array is, and then let's pass in our array, in which case this is R, and then let's print out the first element, which is the index one, which is zero. Okay, so that's it. So this is our first program that, this, that prints the first element of our array. Let's run our code. So this is our output. So in constant time is regardless of the size of the elements or input that we have here, it always executes at the same time. So what we're, we're executing here is that we're printing here the first element. So if we change the value here, let's say we remove here 2 and then run the program again, uh, it's the same thing. We print out again the same uh, first element which is again this time will be number two so in constant time regardless of how many elements that we have here uh, it's like it, the time execution is still the same okay so this is our first program that demonstrates the use of constant time now moving to our second example so let me refresh this one here then okay. let me cut this so that we we'll have it later then let's refresh the ID. Okay. Now in our second example, I'm going to demonstrate how we work with linear time. Or okay. Let me call out and then paste it here. So in our linear algorithm, the algorithm grows in direct proportion to the size of the data set that we have. So let's now create a function that displays the uh, or that prints all the elements in our array again. Okay? So let's create our prototype here Right, okay, by the way, let's put a remark. So this time we are executing linear time Okay, there Now for our prototype, we're going to have here void uh, print all elements of the array and then we're going to have two arguments first is our array and then second is the size okay so this is our prototype now in our main function here what we need to do is to pass in or create our array okay Let's give it a size of 10 and then this one here let's assign a value of 1 to 10 okay now i have the array already Next is I'm going to have your int n is equals to let's say 10. Okay, n here will be our size. 
and then let's call for our function let us print print okay all elements of array and then pass in two arguments first one is a that is for our array and then n here for our size and that's it okay so this is our main uh, program so let's create now our function that displays all the elements of the array copy this one okay now in our main function here we need to create a loop so for let's say int i is equals to zero i less than okay, sorry, less than size there and then i plus plus next is we're going to have here our output c out let's have some spaces here and then let's display the value of our array then i okay so here is our second example which is linear time so let's test okay okay so this is supposed to be our values so here a linear algorithm is used when execution time an algorithm grows indirect to the size of the data set that we have so we have here our function and then we pass in our parameter here uh, okay so this is our array and then this is our size and then we pass in here our array and then n so what we're going to have here is we're going to pass a for our array and then n for our size and then here we're just going to display out the result of our values okay so these are the implementation of big o notation using constant time and linear time okay so that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.